Surface Tools is a standard plugin that uses splines to define patch grids. The ability to modify your end result and merge pieces together seamlessly every time make it very impressive. To start, we'll go over how it works. Under Create, Geometry, Patch Grids, we're given two choices, Quad Patch and Tri Patch. Quad Patch creates a surface that is made up of squares, and Tri Patch creates a surface that is made up of triangles. The only other difference between the two is that Quad Patch must have a minimum of four points and Tri Patch only needs three. By adding an Edit Patch modifier, we can easily alter the shape. The surface is generated by the tangents of these few points. The level of detail can be determined at any time by changing the amount of steps. We can even work in a different level of detail than we render in. To make this surface grow, we can attach another surface and weld the corners. When using Snap to bring vertices together, you'll get better results if you change the coordinate system to View. You can also select the surface and hit Subdivide. This will give you more points to work with. When I move these new Bezier handles around, it moves all three. To move these handles independently of one another, we can change this point from Bezier Coplanar to a Bezier Corner. We can do this by right-clicking on it, or by simply holding down Shift and moving one of the handles. The same thing applies to splines. The advantage with splines is that we can also choose smooth or corner. I'm sure you know most of them already, but let's go over the commands under splines. Weld turns two points into one point. You can only weld end points together. Break unwelds them. Attach makes multiple splines one shape. To unattach, select the segments or splines and hit either detach or explode. Create Line makes a new line already attached to the selected line. You can also do this by going to Create, Line, and then Uncheck Start New Shape. I prefer this way because you can choose the creation method. Refine adds new points, and Refine with Connect checked adds new points and then draws a line between them. Just click the points and then right click to end. Connect will draw a line between two endpoints only. Insert will let you refine and move in one step. Click to insert, click for position, and then right click to end. Make first changes the numbering order of the vertices. Cross insert will put a point on both lines at the intersections. Fuse puts them in the same location. Fillet makes an arc, while Chamfer makes a straight line. Hide and Unhide will affect the vertices and the segments joining them. Delete will remove a vertex and rebuild the line. Last and least is Bind and Unbind. Bind links the end of a vertex to the middle of a line.
Under spline, we have outline, boolean, mirror, trim and extend. Surface tools combine splines and patch grids together. You create the splines, which will be the wire cage of your object. Then you add a surface, which puts a skin over the wire cage. The only rules are, the splines must all be attached, all of the overlying vertices have to be close, and each enclosed area must have only three or four sides. You can make as many rectangles and triangles as you want. Every time you add either one, a new surface will pop on. By using a reference copy, like we did in box modeling, we can modify it in real time. And last is cross section. Cross section is a small plugin that comes along with Surface. When building simple objects that are similar to a loft, cross section will do the tedious work of creating the joining splines. Create several shapes. Attach them in the correct order and choose cross section. Now you can put on your surface modifier. The important thing to remember when using cross section is that each spline needs to have the same number of vertices and be in the same numbered order. Cross section is just a tool to draw lines between like numbers. The best way to keep them all in the right order is to copy and modify the first shape then attach the shapes in the order you want the splines to go.